hello everyone this is asm Arif today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today we'll just do a brush effect like that and let's start i'm going to the file and taking a new which is the canvas 2560 and 1440 200 pixel per inch and hit the create button after that go to the file and place embedded option and taking a black white paper texture and press the ctrl and shift and make it bigger and adjust with the boat and hit the tick button after that i'm going to the file and press open uh, model which is uh, like that i'll give the download link of this model you can cut it out easily by using the uh, quick selection tool i already just done the uh, separation from the background transparent background and i'm taking this one in this blank layer and press ctrl t and make it smaller and fit with the artboard yes like that and hit the ok button but here is some lines in this side that's why i'm just going to the layer and apply layer mask and though here is some lines uh, yet that's why uh, just i'm going to the rectangular marquee tool and select here and press the delete button it will just vanished and in this portion here is also line and i'll just make yes select it and delete this one and press ctrl d for the deselect after that this one is our model and i'll just make another copy of this model and then going to the adjustment layer and the threshold and make it just mask this one after masking this one i'm just reduce the opacity down and the fill down and i'm just making group all these things by pressing ctrl g and mask this one and press i for the inverse mask after that i just uh, make it uh, just uh, reset this one and make it white when it's black and take a brush from the brush palette i just downloaded some the watercolor brush effects i'll give you that brush link in my video description so don't forget to check it out okay before apply over there check the opacity 100% and make the flow 100% and just brush a little bit okay make it smaller by pressing third bracket opening and you can apply here and you can take another brush from the brush palette actually yeah like that okay that's good and I'm taking a blank new layer and I'll pick color from here and apply over there and make it bigger you can apply also here or you can change the brush okay and you can change color from the color picker like that and take red color from here this red color and apply over there I'm applying on background or back side of the model and take another white color like that and you can apply also this one uh, taking here this color and apply over there you can apply just a little bit it will make more sense and and here is some cream color like that okay and you can apply over there after that you can uh, take another brushes those are randomly you can pick up from the you can change the color like red here you can give it okay and the red here is also red color and here and you can apply the brushes change the brushes uh, whatever you need and whatever you can do like that okay that's good you can choose color from here color palette and select the color like that okay and the black color or ash color you can take from here and you can apply this one like that and you can just apply this color or the mix of color and take another brushes okay take uh, this brush and just keep like that okay take the ash color and you can apply a little bit ah that's good 
and selecting the group and taking all the things in a group and making it merge after making it merge go to the color lookup options okay before merge it go to the color lookup option and take it horror blue and you can just keep you can make it clipping mask fit clipping mask it will apply only on this photo you can reuse the opacity of this and after that make it march after that go to the filter and google nick collection color effects pro 4 and from the google nick collection color effects pro i will apply the uh, cross processing filter okay here are lots of filter you can use one of them that's good and hit the ok button okay it's loading and applying all around the colors and i'll reduce the opacity and after that i'll go to the gradient and take the last gradient and make it the radial and reverse and that and make it 300 and make it zero percent okay after that selecting all the things make it group make it march after making it march filter camera filter from the camera filter i'll increase the uh, opacity actually uh, opacity and other things exposure i'll control the exposure give some contrast dehighlighted this one add some blacks add some shadows and the detail sharpening amount and luminance of noise reducer going to the camera calibration and uh, adjust the color like that and the primary red color i will adjust the control hsl from the luminance of blue and aqua of saturation of aqua and hue of aqua like that blue like that you can make more amazing okay after that filter and the uh, uh, photo filter you can change the photo filter like uh, this one and hit the ok button like that okay actually this one this that's good or you can choose this one this one or this one okay hit the ok button you'll get nice effect of this brush effect portrait okay Thank you so much. Thanks for watching my video tutorial. If you have any kind of question or query, please do comment on my video comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend. And till the next video, I am Samarip signing out and bye-bye.